everybody i'm recording our video for class lesson for friday march 4th our objective today is that you are going to demonstrate your understanding of all the key co key concepts in pb1 2 and 3 by taking the mid unit assessment we actually have two activities that we're going to do today we're going to do the chemical reactions mid unit assessment so you're going to be in 2.4 and then when you're finished with that, you're going to read and annotate an article called What Happens When Fuel Burns. Your homework is to just be ready to discuss that article in class on Tuesday. All right. Uh, so why don't you guys take a minute right now before you go into Amplify. Take this um, article, What Happens When Fuel Burns, and put this in good notes. Uh, it's a fairly lengthy article. It's four pages. As you're reading it, make sure that you're um, also reading, taking a look at the pictures, um, any uh, pictures or graphics that we have in here, and that you're also paying attention to um, the, the text underneath there. On the third page, we've got this great chemical reaction going on. And then um, on the fourth page, we have a really good chemical reaction. So make sure that you pay attention to those, okay? Go ahead and copy that into good notes and then come on back. All right, let's go ahead and log on to Amplify. You guys are gonna be in lesson 2.4 and this is the critical juncture assessment. When you are finished with this, uh, I want to go through some slides with you before you read what happens to when fuel burns. Um, we're kind of squashing two lessons together. I'm going to do the mid-unit assessment, and then I've got a couple slides I want to talk to you about before you read that article. So finish this, and then come on back. Okay, so you are done with the critical juncture assessment, which is the mid-unit assessment. Let's go through really quickly this slideshow. Uh, I really only have just a couple slides I want to show you. Um, we're going to be in 3.1, but don't go into Amplify because we're not doing any of the activities except for just reading the um, article. We have a new Chapter 3 question, and that is what was produced during the reaction between the iron pipes and the fertilizer? What was produced during the reaction between the iron pipes and the fertilizer? So we've got two claims that are possible answers to the chapter three question. And um, before we investigate them, you're gonna have a chance to share your initial ideas. Not really, we're not there, so just think about it on your own. Um, so what was produced during the reaction between the iron pipes and the fertilizer? Well, you guys know that rust was produced, but is that the only thing? What else was produced? Uh, so claim number one says during the chemical reaction, only rust was produced. Or claim number two, during the chemical reaction, the rust and another substance were produced. Uh, in order to answer the chapter three question, we have to investigate this question. What happens to atoms during chemical reactions? You guys know that they break apart, they, their bonds break apart and they rearrange. You also know because I gave you the PBs from this or the key concepts from this unit, you know that we have what's called conservation of matter, okay? And that is that all of the atoms over here and here in the reactant have to show up over here. So it seems like some of the atoms that made up the fertilizer didn't rearrange to form the rest. We've got some sodium and I've got nitrogen. Where did those go? You know they have to form something else. And so that's kind of what we're looking at. Perhaps these atoms were destroyed during the chemical reaction. You guys know that's not possible. Conservation of matter says atoms are not created. They are not destroyed. So what happened to them? Where are they? What did they make? Um, if they did make some other substance, then the people of Westfield need to worry about more than just the rust. So we got to figure out what's going on. We're going to begin to investigate what happened to atoms during a chemical reaction by considering one example of a chemical reaction, and that is burning. We're going to start by watching a video. Watch this. 
This is just a video of paper burning. And I want you guys to consider what is exactly going on here. What, what changes do you see? Well, we for sure see that the paper is changing color and we can see that it's getting smaller. But what else do you notice? The atoms that make up that paper are being broken apart and rearranged, but into what substances? Let's go ahead and, and uh, continue to think about what happened to the paper when it burned. And you guys are gonna go ahead and read that article, read and annotate that article, okay? Uh, just be ready to discuss that on Tuesday when we get back into class. All right, you guys, talk to you later.